tonight to do my monthly book chat for the month of April. I always forget. I'm still on the month of January. Like literally, how was four months of the year already gone past? Like, I don't even know, but I'm excited. There's a few things I want to talk about and I feel like I've got two that I want to talk about, but I feel like there's a third one and I can't remember it right now. Must not be important, but, but I'm really excited. So the first thing I'd like to say is guys, Shadowhunter season three got renewed for a third season. Yes! I am so excited, like literally, I, the first season was a bit mediocre and it's just like, okay, yeah, whatever, like it's not really going towards the main plot of the whole thing, but I liked it. And, but season two has been getting so much better and like the last episode of part one was just like, whew, damn, damn, everything was going on and I'm so not okay. And now that we're going to have season two part B starting in a couple of months and then we get a season three, I'm just, I can't wait to see where it all goes. It's making me happy. Like I just, you just gotta disconnect from the books, the books, <laughs> the books when you're reading it because it is not the same. And a few things happened that I was just like, that is just not right. And because you did this, this cancel out this plot line that you could have done with the. It's just there's so many things that annoy me, but I do love it. It's my trash show. It has to be. Like I really did like the movie and when it didn't get like another one, I was so annoyed. And then the TV show came and I was so happy and just. Damn, it's it's great. I do love it and just have to say Magnus and Alec are like the main reason I'm here. So much fun watching their relationship grow in the show and it's just so, it's so cute and adorable and I love it. I absolutely love it. The thing I'd like to talk about next is the Kale novel finally has a title and that is Tower of Dawn. I love it. It sounds so good. And there's a lot of talk going around at the moment for the book being labelled the Six Throne of Glass book because the Kale book like it was meant to be a novella but it's turned into a novel like it's going to be like a 400 or 500 page novel that's a part of the story like it doesn't really bother me like yes the seventh book now it's the seventh book is going to be coming out next year because Sarah J Mass was sick I don't it doesn't really bother me and everyone's just like oh it should be about Selena and all that and it's just like I don't care Kale is my favorite and I'm so annoyed with what happened to him in this series and I want a book about him it's like going to be a companion it's good like stuff that Kale and uh, his girlfriend, whose name I can't remember because it's a very weird name, they're going to be doing some stuff when he's getting all fixed up. So he's going to be vital to the main plot. Like, something that he does in this book is probably going to help Selena later on. So it's just, like, I'm just excited. And, like, September cannot come soon enough. I am just so down. So down. And I also just want to say to you guys, is in my last book chat, or the one before, I was, like, talking about how annoyed I was at the Throne of Glass 6 book. Well, 7 the book now is being pushed back. I just want to say that I feel really bad about that, that I was so angry because it's just like she can't help being sick and can't help what happened to her and she needs time and I'd rather her have time than rush to write this book and have it not as good as it could have been. So just want to say if any of you were like offended by how angry I was, I am sorry. But I'm pretty cool with it now. Like, I mean, I've got Akatar coming out soon so that I can tide me over. Like, I mean, it's like a week. It is a week until Akata and I'm annoyed because spoilers are starting to come out. I haven't seen any. I'm just like, I'm just like jumping around trying to miss all these spoilers. But people have been talking about it and I'm like, I'm, I was on Tumblr before and I'm just like, God, you got to stay off Tumblr. Don't even search for anything on Instagram. Like, I mean, I can't even look at the tags anymore because I'm like, what if I can spoil? What if someone's poisoned in the story? It's like, why are people getting early copies? Why couldn't I be a person who got early copies? But it's just so stupid that people are already posting spoilers when the book hasn't even been published to the mass world. Like, literally, everyone's going to read this book the first day they grab it. Like, the minute they grab it, this book's going to be read by everyone. Why can't people just wait a week or so after the um, release of it to be nice? This what annoys me. It's like the same with subscription boxes. Is like, the day someone gets it, they post a photo, and still about 90% of people haven't gotten their box, and it ruins it for everyone. So, I've had that happen to me, and I've gotten angry about that, because it's just like, who wants to get spoiled? It's meant to be fun of opening shit, and it's being spoiled, but... I'm just really excited. It's gonna be here. My Way of Chronicles box is gonna get here. I'm gonna have all this bookish merch and I'm just like, yes, yes, I'm so excited. But anyway, guys, there. Are, I don't, I, I really can't tell you if there was a third thing I was gonna talk about because a couple of days ago I was thinking of what I was gonna talk about and I had things to say. And then I'm just like, oh, is there something I'm forgetting? But anyway, guys, I hope you liked my chat and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.